Hey, what's up and good evening, everybody. Thanks for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton, and I am covering the second step for Crypto Golf Impact. This is going to be a really important step in any play-to-earn game. You're going to want to get yourself set up with a wallet that is going to allow you to store your tokens and your currency that you're going to be able to win um, you know, or accumulate as you play your play-to-earn games. In this situation, we're going to be downloading what is called a Neopin wallet. Now, I want to set you up with a little bit of success before you do that because there are going to be a few things you're going to want to have done beforehand. One, I strongly suggest that you always link your game to your Facebook account. Okay, so that's how Crypto Golf Impact works. If you click your avatar here in the top left hand corner, you can see here at the very bottom there is going to be a blue option with a Facebook symbol that says Secure Recover. I would suggest attaching your account to Facebook. That way you have that back up as a security measure in case you know your game gets deleted off of your uh, mobile device, whatever the case may be. Okay, so always have it linked to Facebook. Secondly, you're going to need a Gmail email address. Okay, Gmail is free. If you don't already have a Gmail email account, you can always head over to gmail.com and create yourself a free Google email account. Now that goes the same for Facebook as well. If you're not currently a Facebook user, go make yourself a Facebook profile. It can be for gaming purposes only. I'm not a big social media person myself, but I do have Facebook accounts for various games that I play. That way I can have those linked to those accounts and um, use that, like I said, as a backup failover in case something happens to my data. So now that you have your Facebook account linked to Crypto Golf Impact and you've created yourself a free Gmail email address, it's time to get started on downloading your wallet. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to head over to your App Store or your Google Play Store. Obviously, it depends on what operating system that you're using, okay? And you're going to download two different apps. You're going to search for Neopin Wallet. So if you just type in Neopin and search, you're going to see right here is going to be the blue one, Neopin your crypto wallet okay so I'm going to go ahead and download that right now we'll go ahead and hide my screen here so that all my details don't show up all right so you probably just heard the chime that is downloading as we speak and now the second app that we're going to download is going to be called the Google authenticator app I always struggle with saying that word but this is what it looks like okay right there it's gonna be this one right here this is Google authenticator has 192,000 stars or you know reviews right now whatever the case may that be maybe that's downloads but it's going to be that one right there so I'm gonna also go ahead and cut off my screen footage here and download that app as well So now those are downloading, we'll go back to our home screen. And you can see here that the Neopin wallet is already installed, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and this is where we're gonna get started creating our wallet account. So Neopin would like to send you notifications. Obviously, this is standard stuff um, as you start to download any app. They always ask you to uh, download or you know allow notifications, things of that nature. It's up to you uh, what, what you wanna pick. And then lastly here, it's going to uh, ask you to have access to your camera. Now you're gonna need this because it's gonna be part of a KYC verification, which we're going to go through a little bit later. You do need to hit okay here and make sure that you do allow that to happen. First thing you're gonna get is just gonna be some news about some software updates that they did, okay? Now once you have your wallet here, now keep in mind I'm on an Apple device, okay? Um, this is what the main screen looks like. If you're using an Android device, I do want you to go into the settings and there's going to be one that I want you to turn on. It's going to be called Appear on Top Setting. Okay, This needs to be switched on when you initially install this app on Android devices in order to use the wallet without any interference. Okay, More than likely, you're not going to have to do this on an iOS device. So this is just a reminder that you do need to put on a peer on top setting on Android devices, okay? 
Um, the, the setting can be managed through a route. Uh, all you really have to do is really easy, and you're just going to go to your settings. You're going to go to apps, special access, appear on top, find Neopen Wallet on. All right. So that is going to be the path um, that you're going to do. So again, settings and then apps, special access, appear on top, find Neopen Wallet, and turn that on. Okay. That's going to be the steps for that. So now that we have our app set up and ready to go, now we actually need to create our wallet. So this is going to be uh, where the exciting stuff gets started. This is easier than you think, but for a lot of newer players to play to earn games, this can get pretty confusing. So all you're going to do is click this create wallet right here. Okay. And you're going to sign in with your Google email account. So that's why I told you before you get started, you're going to want to make sure that you do have yourself a Gmail login. So I'm going to sign in with my Google email account here. As long as you um, you know, know your username and your password, you'll be good to go. For most people who are already using a current uh, Google account, then your device probably already has your login information saved like mine does. Now, now that I've selected the email account that I want to use, I do need to agree to these things. These are going to be your normal legal terms of service and privacy policy. Um, you know, very standard when it comes to things like this. So I will agree to all and then I will hit continue. OK, now the next thing that you're going to get is going to be so important. I can't stress enough that you have uh, some paper uh, and a pen and just different ways to write down your security key phrase, which is what you're going to get next. So here, you're going to get a 24-word recovery phrase. This will be issued to keep your wallet safe. Please note that it is impossible to recover your wallet if your recovery phase is lost. So what does that mean in layman's terms? That means you need to have this 24-word phrase written down probably in multiple different places. If you have any apps on your phone that you have password protected that you can keep notes in, I would keep a copy there. I would keep a copy on your spouse's phone in a lock folder. I'd write it down in a notebook on a post-it and just have it in multiple places, okay? Because this is where you're going to store your real money rewards. Now, this is very common in the crypto space with these 24-digit recovery phases. There's no such thing as customer service, okay? This is not like a normal uh, bank or, you know, it's not like just calling up any place and saying, hey, I lost my password. I need help getting it recovered. There is no such thing. It's going to be 100% up to you to have your recovery phrase written down. All right. So I'll go ahead and block out my screen as it's going to show my recovery phase coming up. So just make sure you click I understand and agree that my wallet cannot be restored if my recovery phase is lost. You hit continue. The very next thing you're going to get after you hit continue is your 24 word recovery phase, okay? They are listed uh, in numerical order from one to 24. I just took a picture of mine with my iPhone. So now that is saved in my photo gallery and later on tonight, I'll write it down in a couple different places. Now, once you have that, you're going to uh, check mark at the bottom that I have stored the recovery phase in a safe place and I agree my wallet cannot be restored if my recovery phase is lost. After you agree to that, this is what your next screen is going to look like. It's going to give you a pop quiz on your recovery phase. So you can see here that it's asking me, what is my eighth word, my 18th word, 24th word, 21st and 11th word. I'm now going to have to match this with the picture that I just took. Okay. This is just one way that they are ensuring that you do have your recovery phase, at least in one place. So bear with me for just a moment while I sit here and I go through these and I double check that I have everything correct. Okay, so now that I've matched them up, I'm hitting confirm. And now that I've confirmed that I have them in there, it's letting me know that basically I am correct. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to be using the Google Authenticator app 
to do basically what is it called a two-step verification okay this is just another security measure that these types of things have in place uh, these types of apps are very common in the crypto space on play to earn games it's asking me if I need to install this app but I don't need to I already have it ready to go so I can just hit next okay so basically what's gonna happen here is you see that I have a setup key the setup key here is in the middle so I'm just gonna copy that setup key uh, to my notes you can write this down um, or you can just do something like I'm doing right here where I'm just gonna copy it and I'm getting ready to paste it okay now let me show you how to set up this Google uh, app to make it really easy for you all you're gonna do is go into this app right here and I'm gonna hit get started I'm just gonna make sure that it's not gonna have my personal info on here for a second okay it does not so when I hit get started it's gonna ask me for two ways how do I want to set up my first account we're going to set it up with a setup key, okay? And we're going to name the account. I'm going to name this one Crypto Golf Impact. Now, the reason you're going to want to do this is because if you start to play numerous play to earn games, um, each one of them is going to have their own pass key that you're going to get started on. So now that key that I just copied with my notes, I just added it in here, and I'm going to hit add. And you're going to see that this is going to randomly assign me a six digit pin number and you can see the timer going right here so that's how secure this is this is basically a two-factor authentication i can hardly ever say that word so here's my code one nine four six four four so now i'm going to go back into here oops And you see how these two things communicate with each other? Now it knows that I was correct and that I w and that key did work. So now it's going to let me finish uh, basically one of the last parts of my wallet. Okay. So what you're going to want to do here is you're going to do your KYC verification. KYC simply stands for know your client. Sometimes it's called know your customer. Uh, this is a mandatory check and it's a mandatory process of identifying and verifying that you are basically who you say you are okay same thing if you were to go to a bank they're gonna have to get a copy of your photo ID they're gonna have to get some personal information from you uh, that's the bank just saying hey you're setting up an account and you're proving to us you are who you say you are uh, that's what this is okay so here yes you will have to submit your ID you will have to submit some documents normally it takes a day or two uh, for those to get approved if you hold any other type of cryptocurrency, uh, so for example, if you trade off of crypto.com or Coinbase, I'm just naming some of the biggest exchanges out there in the world, you had to do the same thing whenever you set those accounts up. You had to take a picture of yourself and you had to prove that you are who you say you are, okay? That's what this step will be. Now, obviously for me, um, for my sake here, I'm going to uh, blur my iPad out because obviously, you know, I don't want all my personal information to be uploaded uh, for everybody to see, okay? So that's basically what's gonna happen is you're gonna start your KYC. From there, it's gonna be pretty self-explanatory. It's gonna ask you what ID would you like to upload? And then for me, I'm going to select driver's license. It's gonna ask me, you know, what country do I live in? I live in the United States. You put in, obviously, wherever that you live, okay? So uh, from there, it's going to ask you if it's okay to have access to the camera. So remember, that's one of the first things that we talked about in this video is giving access to the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and hit allow. And then from here, it's literally going to allow me to just take a picture of my driver's license, which I'm doing right now as we speak. Now, again, this, this part right here, you know, I know this is going to... Um, make some people nervous and you always have to make your own decisions on what you're comfortable with uh, but I can tell you I've done play to earn games and I've, I've been in the crypto space for many years and I can say that I have never um, had a problem when it comes to any type of hacks or any of my information being misused and I can say that with confidence because I do uh, check my credit report every three months and then I also have some alerts set up if anything were to um, come across, you know, that looks fraudulent. 
Okay, so it's uploading my driver's license right now. And I waited to do all this so that I could walk you through, you know, exactly what we're doing here. <clears throat> so it's going to automatically, um, you know, just fill in the information. Just make sure that you have it right. So it's going to have your date of birth, the date your, um, you know, whatever ID you upload was given to you when it expires. And it even has the number on there as well. So this is pretty, pretty cool as far as how smart this system is. Now it's going to take a picture of me. I smiled for the camera for some reason. And that's asking if it can use my location, which I'm going to go ahead and let it do. And I'm going to type in my address. Okay. It was very close on my address. It was actually off by one house number. And now it's processing the KYC part of this. Now, I told you earlier about an Android setting that needs to happen. I wanted to tell you that I'm going to put those steps in the description below. Okay. So if you didn't remember that or if you didn't write it down, you know, the appear on top setting, that's going to be found in the description below. Now, it already says that my uh, KYC has been approved, but the final approval could take some time. All right. Now, so from there, we're going to be done uh, with that portion of it. Okay. So once that gets approved, you're going to be able to actually start to do the whole currency part of the game, the play to earn, which will be pretty cool. Now, you do want to make sure, though, that you do have your Neopin wallet connected to your Crypto Golf Impact account. So that's going to be uh, pretty important as well. OK, so where are you going to find that at? Let's get back into the game. Let's get my screen popping back on here for you all. So what you're going to do here to see if your account is basically connected to the wallet, if your Crypto Golf Impact account is connected to the wallet, is you're going to go down here into the bottom menu, okay, the very left-hand side. And you see right here where it says membership at the top. You would basically click here. And now you see how it's asking me to connect my Neopin wallet. Click that. Okay, but it's letting you know that the services will be available once you're verified and good to go. All right, so once that KYC part has been verified, somebody has manually reviewed the documents that you uploaded, then you'll be good. Okay, so you won't be able to actually do the whole connection procedure um, until you're, you're fully verified. But I think we're pretty good to go as far as this video goes. I hope that you found it helpful. I hope that you've at least started to play Crypto Golf Impact. And if you've been waiting on, you know, how to do the wallet, well, here you are. I think we're pretty good. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, please go ahead and post those in the comments section below. I do do my best to make sure that I answer all the comments that come through and provide the best feedback that I can for you. Again, if you're looking for the additional steps for the Android user, that will be in the video description below. I appreciate you watching. Download Crypto Golf Impact. Give it a try and I will see you for the next video. Thanks everybody.